Nice! In this uh, national park we are in, we're about 1000 meters above sea level and we already found an adult male wandering like the Gramosla rosea male um, on the street. So we already seen the adult male of this species and just now we were lifting rocks in this park and already found a juvenile specimen. So it's an Eoatlus species and uh, we hope to find some bigger ones. It's gorgeous looking. It has a overall green appearance on the carapax and uh, the femurs of the legs. So it's quite a nice species. And uh, we hope to find some big females because there are males wandering around. Maybe there will be some freshly etched, hatched XX. So awesome, uh, we'll continue our search. And maybe there should be another tarantula species living in this park and we'll do a two species in one episode vlog then if we find it. So yeah, see you then. Amazing. So actually in this park where you're looking for this uh, Eoatlus species where we found the adult male and the juvenile one we did find another species of tarantula here. So actually it is a uh, species of the genus Frixotrichus and because I've mentioned in the other video which I'll link up there there is only Frixotrichus vulpinus and Frixotrichus yara from uh, this region. So most likely it will be a Frixotrichus uh, vulpinus here and quite happy to find this uh, small juvenile specimen and of course we are now searching for the bigger ones, the adult females, hopefully adult males, we don't know yet and uh, see what we're going to find in this area. In the background you hear a woodpecker and uh, we'll continue our search in this pristine uh, rainforest so see you then So yeah, as we now have found two different species of two different genera, um, we know that they live sympatrically in the same area. And uh, that means that most of them would likely not share the same microhabitat. So one of them most likely prefers to live under stones. The other one prefers to dig burrows. And uh, that's often the case actually. So in areas with a much higher biodiversity, like in Ecuador rainforest or in uh, Brazil the Atlantic forest coast there are several different tarantula species um, occurring in the very same area so for example in the area of uh, Bahia in uh, Brazil the Atlantic rainforest there are at least like four different arboreal tarantula spiders and there are several different ones on the ground so we have most likely about seven species of tarantulas in the same area and here where we are like in the southern hemisphere and not that close to like really tropical high humidity and high diversity areas we have only two species of tarantulas co-occurring but uh, I say only two it's still amazing to see both of them so 
we're not quite sure if we're going to find an adult male or adult female of the Frixotrichus, so we'll continue our search and uh, maybe we're lucky and can document them in this park as well. <laughs> found an amazing looking uh, Opiliones. Um, these are the harvest men you call them in English. Uh, they are arachnids but they're no spiders so they don't have any silk webbing abilities and they don't have any venom glands actually so they're completely harmless to us humans but uh, I want to show you guys these awesome looking species. Um, I found like quite a few different Opiliones uh, in my life in all these tropical countries but this one I've never seen a Opiliones or generally a arachnid looking like this so for size comparison reasons I want to show you this little guy just real quick on my hand here it is but uh, for the true beauty we'll get some macro close-up shots and you can see this awesome looking Opiliones with a lot of thorns, spiky little armed uh, arachnid and quite colorful actually. So it has some green, uh, yellow legs and some bluish tones in it and it's just remarkably looking. So yeah, we're uh, still looking for some tarantulas in this region but of course any other uh, arachnid or reptile, snake, anything, we'll record and take some pictures of it. Yeah, so as you just saw, we found an adult male of uh, Frixotrichus vulpinus. This is it, and it's a very old male actually. So I hope we still find some females around here, maybe some juvenile ones. And this is the species which has two urticating hair patches on the abdomen. And it's quite a nice species. So you've seen it in the last video. Um, I've linked it on the upper part here. And yeah, hopefully we'll find some females, bigger ones, and we'll get some close-up shots. it actually from the episode today this is the adult male Ewatlus we found walking on the street uh, prior to filming the 
juvenile specimen of this species. So actually we made it and uh, found two uh, St. Patrick living species together. One of them was this Eoatlus species and uh, the other one was the Frixotrichus vulpinus. So for us quite amazing to see and to find two species in the same habitat. So yeah, that's it from this episode. We see each other next week on Friday for the next episode and we'll still continue our search here in Chile. So see you then. Thank <laughs> you.